There are several challenges facing the cancer community. When we think about uh, what needs to happen, it becomes almost daunting. Cancer is such a pressing problem and we need to move so fast because people are dying that collaboration becomes even more imperative. Although collaboration is something that we all talk about and we all want and we, all, and we think, uh, boy, if we could just uh, bring these people together, it'd be great. We have to realize that in reality, our system is not set up to collaborate. Our system is set up for individuals to uh, promote their science and therefore advance in, in the field. The collaboration with Steve Schoenberger at La Jolla Institute goes back about four years. And I remember sitting in his office uh, and in front of his whiteboard, and we sketched out this idea. What is it about cancer that makes it different, that makes it unique, and, and what, what is it that we can attack immunologically? And we came down to this idea of finding out what the neoantigens are, so antigens derived from mutations, and understanding how the immune system was responding to those mutations. Well, how can we identify that in every patient? And if we can do that, how can we turn that into therapy? And the therapies became cellular therapies, vaccines, or engineering different types of immune cells uh, to actually attack those specific elements in the cancer. And we've done all of that in a span of four years. Sometimes immuno-oncology and translational immunology um, isn't prioritized as much as it should because it is so focused on a deliverable for a set of patients that it steps away from the basic research, pure knowledge for the sake of pure knowledge ethos that has guided a lot of the, the funding. The idea that we could activate the immune system to destroy cancer is, is not new. The, the problem was that we didn't understand enough about the immune system, we didn't understand enough about cancer, and we just didn't have effective tools to uh, to understand those mechanisms and to turn those mechanisms into therapies. And there were a lot of skeptics about immunotherapy in the oncology field because there had been so many failures until a few years ago when the checkpoint inhibitors began to show real responses in cancers outside of melanoma. With immunotherapy and checkpoint blockade, you see cures, you see a plateau on the survival curve. That has never happened before, ever. And so the idea that the immune system can do something uh, meaningful and lasting for a patient with cancer is um, the biggest breakthrough to my mind. And the work that I'm doing with Ezra Cohen is seeking to identify the mutations that are being targeted by that successful therapeutic immune response. And then by understanding those to predict them in advance of a patient receiving a therapy and make those neoantigens the basis of a um, immunotherapy, either through vaccines or cellular therapy. It's an enormously exciting time. There isn't one person that you will talk to that hasn't been affected by cancer. Uh, be it a parent or a sibling or a spouse or a child or a friend. As a society, we should be getting tired of this. Uh, we should be thinking we don't, we don't want to live like this anymore. And we have to realize that we have the technology in place now that can turn cancer not only into a chronic disease, but even better than that, uh, into a curable disease. And we can do that in our generation. And I think it's our mandate to do it. I think it's our responsibility to do it.